Hello and welcome back to Vlogmas or welcome if it's your first time. I'm Kimberly. Welcome to the channel. You should go ahead and hit the subscribe button to join us. We do lots of different vlogs, travel things, photography, beauty, makeup, fashion. Um, today we're doing kind of a mix of all of it. So this is not what I had planned for today's Vlogmas video. Um, so it's like four o'clock and I'm barely pulling out the camera. But I don't really feel like doing what I was going to do because that just feels like too much work and I'm exhausted today. Um, but I just got my Stitch Fix in. This is not sponsored. Like, I wish it was, but it's not. I just love Stitch Fix. We all know I love fashion, I love clothes. Stitch Fix does the shopping for me. They find things that I can't find on my own. What's this? Um, so if you've never gotten a Stitch Fix, they like wrap everything nicely in paper inside the box. Uh, there's normally a, they give a little return mailer card. Okay, so along with all the clothing nicely wrapped, they send like a little envelope. And inside of that is a little card that shows you different ways to style the outfits. Um, or different pieces that they sent you. And then there's also a little note from your stylist. And then they send you a piece of paper that has the actual invoice so it tells you how much everything costs. And, what, and so you can decide like what you want to keep and stuff. So... Let's see what I got. I told them I wanted something for uh, really nice holiday dates. And I ordered this like a while ago. I told them to bring it in December. So we got a velvet top. Not sure how I feel about that. It looks like the sleeves might be a little billowy. or a dress okay we got a striped jumpsuit with thin straps um they know i'm a photographer and shoot a lot of weddings so that's what the stylist sends me a lot of looks like we got more velvet This one's a dress. Again, we have the billowy sleeves. I freaking love billow. Ooh. Okay, the inside of this is a really nice material. I'm not always a fan of velvet because it gets so staticky, but this looks like it might be cute. And then we just have a striped sweater. It's um, actually pretty thin, so I don't think it'd keep warm, but. It's like red, cream, orange, and gray. And then we have more velvet. Ooh, this is a cute little skirt. No. No. Nina. So it's just a cute green velvet skirt. It's got pockets, real pockets. And then the bottom is like scalloped. So that's really cute. Let's go try this stuff on. Okay, so this is the black velvet top. I just put it with the skirt, but um, I think this shirt's gonna be a no for me. Um, The sleeves are like, a little billowy, uh, but mostly it just feels restricting around my wrist. Like, it's got stretch, but it still doesn't feel very, like, it stretches a lot, but it just doesn't feel very comfortable. Oh, wait, they are scrunched up. Hold on. Okay, that's a little better. But, um, they've got this, like, poofy shoulder thing going on that I don't think helps 
with my look at all. Um, and then the skirt is actually pretty cute. These pockets are actually pretty deep. I really like the scalloped edging. Um, so I think the skirt's going to be a yes for me, but the shirt's <laughs> a definite no. So the sweater is actually really comfy. I love the sleeve length. I love it's so soft. Like sometimes knit sweaters are like a terrible texture, but this is like so soft. The neck knot neckline is nice and wide, which is great for my sensory issues. The um, seams are really soft. I like the length. The only problem I have with this is it's see through. Um, it is very thin, so I couldn't wear it without something. Uh, over or under it um, but still like I can't stand when things are see-through like but I don't know because I kind of like the look of it I just have this green skirt on still so like not an outfit but so this is the velvet dress I really don't know how I feel about this like I have an hourglass shape it's got some extra stand in it but it's still an hourglass shape and this makes me look like a rectangle um but I like the neckline I like that it's a v-cut but still not showing too much cleavage I love the sleeves it's like really soft I'm thinking maybe if I add a belt um we'll see let's see what it looks like with a belt okay so with a belt I actually like it a lot more um obviously it gives it that waist I know shift dresses are like super in but I just don't think it works for my body type so with a belt maybe Okay, so like obviously I'm not wearing this hat properly. My hair is up weird, but um I think like with the belt, oh my mirror is so dirty. Oh, where's the maid? Just kidding, I don't have a maid, I wish I did. Um But yeah, I think with a hat, a belt, and some booties, maybe some tights, this would be a super cute look. Okay, so this oh, focus. There we go. Okay, so this is outfit, the last outfit. I really don't know how I feel about this. So like, normally I like the vertical stripes, but like this is, it's not even tight. Like there's there's extra fabric in the crotch, but it still feels like it's digging in at the crotch. Don't like that. Um, These straps are so short. Like, I don't know if they're supposed to tie here and be extra long. Um, or if they're supposed to go all the way around, which to this side, which doesn't really leave much to be tied. Uh, and then this is a lot of cleavage, so I don't know if maybe it's just too small. It's got the weird cropped length, which I hate. Um, I couldn't wear this to a wedding, and I wouldn't wear this just for fun, so this one's another no for me. So if I keep both of these with the $20 credit from the styling fee, that's about $100, which is honestly cheaper than I would normally spend for just a dress. So I'm really considering just getting both of those. These are obvious no's. If you do buy everything, you do get a discount, but like, it's just not a big enough discount to buy things that I don't like. Um, so I'm just gonna put them in the mailer that they sent. And then you just drop it off or you can put it in the mailbox, you know, just send it out. So those are my holiday outfits this year. Okay, I've switched into some cozy pajamas. And it's time to clean up my sewing mess. Sorry, it's so squeaky in here. It's time to clean up all of my sewing mess and get this folded table put away because my new computer's here. So we're gonna set up my office finally. Um, and I just got a cheap desk from Walmart. So first we gotta clean all this up. I just did a quick sweep. Um, I didn't want to clog the vacuum with scraps of fabric. So I just sweeped up the area, made a little pile over here. Once I get everything situated, I'll need to do actual vacuuming in this room. But for now, we have the space clear. Let's get this desk set up. I don't like my desks to be too big or anything. Um, 
if they have a lot of drawers or shelves, I'm just likely to collect clutter. So I just got this very glary box. Um, it's the Parsons desk. It's just four legs, the tabletop, and it has one little drawer from Walmart. Um, it was $75. I scanned it with the app to see what the price when we were looking at the different desk options, and it said it was $49. Um, so I actually thought I was getting the cheapest desk option they had. Turns out there was a cheaper one. Um, for some reason the app was just wrong, but this is still a super straightforward desk that I think is going to be perfect for right here. So it says 30 minutes assembly. Let's see how long it actually takes. Okay, so the tabletop is fully assembled, drawers already attached, and then there's just four legs and a bag of parts. So it looks like this is actually going to be pretty easy to put together. Okay, so that's actually a lot heavier than I thought it'd be. Um, super easy to put together though. It did take about 30 minutes just trying to tighten all those screws with, you know, the tiny little Allen wrench they give you, but it's up. It's real sturdy. It's already dirty. Um, This like snaps in, so like it shouldn't be coming out all weird. Uh, time to set up the computer, but first let's get the box and try to show. So I got my new computer. Um, it's a Dell Inspiron, Inspire, Spur, Inspiron. I don't know. Um, it's a custom thing. Like I picked out things that are specifically good photography for photography. And it just has a note on it. I don't know if it's gonna focus but it just says why is this not loaded like <laughs> okay I'm guessing somebody didn't do their job uh, okay so over here is where it says what it is so this is a Dell Inspiron 27 7,000 77,000 so I don't know what all that means um, but this is the stuff that I uh, customized to get yeah. what I needed so it has 27 inch touch display with webcam, um, whatever that means, 16 gigs of memory, 512 gigs of the SSD memory, um, one terabyte of the HDD memory, uh, graphics chip, which means it's good for gaming, but I specifically do that so that it's good for editing, um, but yeah, it's got wireless, Bluetooth, something, obviously it comes with the memory card reader and... USBs, HDMI, all those ports, um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what a lot of this means, I kind of just googled and went with what was recommended, and this is the computer that popped up, and then I just customized some of these things to make it better, like have more memory and stuff like that, um, but yeah, let's see if I can, I think these are supposed to come open, I don't know, Okay, so I cut open the top, um, pulled two boxes out of there, the computer is in there, and then I realized how to open these little locks on the side. Broken ain't doing it, but you literally just pull. Okay, so I couldn't show with one hand because I had to push on the box with one. And then you just pull on this little part, and it opens these flabbies so that it can come out of the box. And now, oh, I don't think I can do this with one hand either. And there's the computer. Let me get this set up, my battery's dying. Okay, the new computer is amazing. It is downloading Lightroom because obviously that's what I need it the most for. It's humongous. Um, so that's the, computer it's got like a little easel this is all speaker it is real loud um this keyboard's gonna take me some getting used to i've been using a laptop for a while uh and then obviously just a mouse but i think the cool part about this is the webcam like that's the webcam it's so cute and I don't have to put like weird tape over it because it's just there. For now, I just put my sewing machine over here. Eventually this will be gone. Um, I just have to clean up the basement to make room for my sewing stuff down there. And then I brought this out. The little calendar is gonna go right up there where I can see it. 
already made little dots on the on the wall up there <laughs> so I know where to hang it um but yeah so I'm just gonna finish getting this all set up I've got to let the camera charge okay so we have the desk set up that's very bright so we have the desk set up I got the little calendar up I still have to actually fill it in um for now I just have obviously my keyboard keyboard pad thing, mouse pad, mouse, my editing tablet, the computer, and a little lamp. I have some LED strips coming in a couple days, so we'll be putting that up soon. Um, I also have some pegboards coming to put over here so I can clear this clutter up. Um, I need to go through my scrap bin and get all that cleaned up, decide what's going to be reusable and what needs to go in the garbage. Again, just extra stuff, photos I haven't had framed yet. So this is kind of how we're looking. I do eventually want to get a proper L-shaped desk. Um, or I guess I could even just move this little one in here and move that out. I don't know yet, but um, yeah, for now, this is what we got. It's a lot of stuff that needs to have a proper home, but it's nighttime and... I'm ready to be done cleaning this is just the same as it was before um, and this is my vanity chair I need to get another desk desk chair to go over here but for now this will work and so the mirror that was over there was kind of creeping me out seeing my own reflection so I put it over here I have again more pegboards coming that I'm going to use to organize the jewelry that's in there so we can get rid of this mirror um, so that at least this side won't be as cluttered but yeah, for now, this is what we have. One chair to roll around the whole room in. Um, and I just gotta wait for the things to come so I can put some art on the walls and put some light on the walls and get something other than this ugly overhead light. Kenya is very impatiently waiting for me so that we can have our charcuterie board and watch Harry Potter. So let's go put a cheese board together. Okay, so for our charcuterie board, we have the metal thing and the little ramekins that I bought. And then we have dill Havarti cheese. A goat cheese with garlic and herb. Extra sharp cheddar cheese. Medium cheddar. Colby Jack. Chipotle chili cheddar cheese. Um, Gouda cheese. And then we have some beef summer sausage. Some pepperonis, um, chocolate dip, naan, um, just regular bruschetta, peppermint bar chocolate, Ritz crackers, pretzels, and Nella wafers. So let's see what we can get on this board. Okay, so here is our adult Lunchable. We've got chocolate with a little heart-shaped spoon. We've got two types of goat cheese, all the other cheeses. I just like snuck the little chocolates in. Rows of pepperoni, everything. You can, the ribs are in there, you just can't see them, but yeah. There's that. The wine that we bought, it is 1924 limited edition, double gold, 2020 Sauvignon Blanc. Whatever all that means. Wine for me, Kool-Aid for my love. And it's a little dark, but this is what we're at. We have my cozy little wife over there, cozy dog number one over there, cozy dog number two over there, cozy zombie dog underneath the tree. And by that I do mean that. She's, she's under the tree but she loves it under there so we got ourselves a cozy little night lit up christmas tree fireplace adult lunchable 
and we're gonna watch some Harry Potter. So that is gonna be it for today's video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. You can start too soon. Sorry. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.